Hi guys, today I have my weekly manis, but this is actually for two weeks combined. I just didn't get around to do one last week, but two weeks combined, I have seven manis total. Not too bad. Let's just get started. The first mani I did was a really simple nail art combo. So I used a really deep navy blue color as a base. This one is UNT Peelable Nail Polish, and the color is called MG165. This is sent to me PR. By now, I'm sure you all know that I love those peelable nail polishes. They're one coaters, they're just easy to manage. I put this down on all of my nails and I grabbed my OPI I Snow You Love Me. And for this polish, it's a holographic circle glitter polish. I never use it as a polish. I always just pick out those little circle glitters and place them on my nails as if they're loose glitters basically and because they are already in the space so they're a little tacky you don't have to prep your nails for anything it's just really easy to use so I put one glitter on each nail and I thought that turned out really classy and really beautiful so I really enjoyed that look then I did a Halloween mani I think I just can't hold off on doing Halloween manis anymore I hope you've already seen my three Halloween looks using the China Glaze Tro's Spring Collection. So that was really fun and I decided to do one more Halloween mani. This time around, I went with two polishes from Expressi, uh, from Essie. They are both from the Fall Collection. The red color is called High Energy Low Stress and the green color is called In the Fast Lane. They are both on the deeper side. I just did a gradient with those two. And then I used a stamping plate from Trinjigo Haranuda L035. On that plate, there's just uh, mainly rose vine with some skull, spider web, um, bats kind of image. So I thought that was really cool. There's just one nail. I picked up a little sword with roses kind of image and did a little reverse stamping using the exact same colors and because they are similar uh, to the base so i thought that was really subtle but still very vampy so i enjoyed that look quite a bit and then i just wanted to do something really simple no nail art whatsoever i picked out my zoya leaf this one is a new purchase for me from a couple of months ago when zoya did a sale i just wanted something really clean really simple and it's just a really pale kind of sage green Good formula, surprisingly good actually, because for color like this with a skinny brush, I thought I probably would struggle with streakiness and whatnot, but this is almost opaque in one coat. So I was rather impressed, very happy with it. And then I used another polish without nail art. This is polished for days in the color zero. I believe this one came from a Halloween collection, if not 2019, then probably 2018 but it's a shimmery polish. It's rather sheer. It shifts from orange to kind of golden yellow. I think it's cute. I used three coats and it is definitely still sheer, at least for my nail lens. I don't mind it that much though. I liked it. I think this is perfect transitioning from summer to fall as well because it's orange, but it's bright. So it's kind of appropriate for both seasons. Then I received my PR package from Olive Ave Polish. So this is her fall release and they're really beautiful. I wanted to do nail art with them. The first look I did, I used three polishes from the collection. So I have Jostler, Hayride, and Foliage. So I did one of those dry marble kind of look again. I thought that turned out really cute. It was pretty simple to do and it's just really abstract and artsy feeling and I loved it a lot. Then I did another nail art look using the same collection again. So I used those two brownish yellow colors again, but I switched out the blue with this, uh, with this olive color. It's actually called olive. <laughs> so I used those three colors together this time. I did kind of a uh, Skittle style on the base and then I just picked up some of those uh, feather images from a clear jelly stamper plate and the plate is number 31 so I just picked up a few feathers and I didn't do the layered stamping because those are not uh, stamping polishes so they won't work out that way so I just did reverse stamping instead but I thought that turned out really cute the feathers are rather small especially compared to my nail length so I didn't want to put like five, six feathers 
on the same nail to just fill in the space it was just gonna be too much work so I just decided to place the feathers kind of off edge on the side so it looks a little more dainty and I liked how that turned out and the last mani is what I have on my nails right now this is inspired by Emily Da so I saw this look on her and I have the same plate which is clear jelly stamper 169 so i recently bought that plate and i was struggling with it because most of the images on that plate are super small again my nails are long i just can't come up with a kind of cohesive look without making it too busy i don't know i was struggling so when i saw emily's look i just had to replicate it because she just put together like everything so well the base i picked is from cirque colors this is in the shade central park after dark it's a beautiful kind of sagey uh muted green and then the stamping polishes that i used uh the colored ones i should say the gold is from hit the bottle club soul gold and the fox color the burnt orange red color is from the brand a uh, pipila i think i got it from ppu i'm not familiar with the brand the color is called i am weird and then of course i have my just good old regular black and white from maniology so the black is straight up black and the white is bam white so that's all of the stamping polishes i used for this mani and the placement of layering is a little trickier than i thought uh, especially when it's something pretty precise like a fox you want to line up the eyes and the body perfectly um you know, I think it turned out okay. I just have so much more respect for people who use layering stamping uh, images all the time because it's not as easy as it looks. I'm gonna practice and hopefully I'll get better at it. Uh, and of course, I mattified everything. I always use my Orly matte top, matte top coat now. It's pretty good. I have nothing bad to say about it. I'm not very picky about matte top coats anyways. So. That's all of the manis I did in the last two weeks. I think they're all really good though. I'm not complaining. Um, I'm gonna tell you, well, I've already told you my staple items, the black and white stamping polish, and also I have my matte top coat. You already saw that too. And then I also have my smudge free top coat and my sticky uh, base coat from Maniology as well uh, because they just work well with nail art. And those two are actually sent to me PR. So if you want to pick up anything from maniology.com, you can use my affiliate link or code <laughs> JOY10 to get 10% off the entire website. I would really appreciate your support. Um, but that's it. I think it's just a really uh, fun two weeks. I got to do some nail art and I got to just paint my nail a little bit too. So that's always good. It's a nice little breather, I guess. So... I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.